Are you ready? So that's what. Whoops. Now you messed my hair up. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to Tana's News Network. I'm here with my guest, Mama. Uh, this is my good, dear friend. She's actually my best friend's mother, but she could be my second mother. And uh, I call her Mama. And so she is my first guest in studio. So I'm very excited to have her here with me because we have got a fun-filled show for you all tonight because tonight is all about the questions that you guys have for me and Mama. And uh, we're going to keep it real and we're going to answer the questions as they've come in, and we have got quite a few. So, um, Mama's asked me about mama. the... What? Not Mama. What I always call you Mama. Now you call me Mom. Mama Mia. No, you don't. Mom, wait, what? <laughs> Your birthday card. Did I not say... Mama. Mama. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. She's going to correct the name already. It's M-O-M-M-A. Okay. Mom. Well, okay. What do you want to be? Mom? Mom. Mom, it is. Mom, too. Squared. Um, anyways, so you guys, you know how the show rolls. If you like us, we want you to share it. We want you to be interactive. Oh, we've already got Cass up. Oh, my gosh. There, Cass, she's watching. Say Hi. hello to your daughter. Hi, honey. <laughs> Thank you for giving me directions to get to Tana's. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> By the way, let's just start the whole show with she gave me a heart attack. Shh. No, I gave myself a seizure almost. I really almost did because I couldn't find my way and I, I can't see. Gabby's watching too. Hi, Gabby. Hey, okay. She was late. She was supposed to be here at 6. We were going to test. Everything was going to be great. We were going to relax, have a beverage. I was going to get her a nice cold diet Pepsi with lots of ice, just the way she likes it. And she's late. And she's calling me, calling her daughter for directions. But anyways, needless to say, we're here and we're doing great. So she had some questions for me about the uh, White House Christmas party that Curtis and I were so honored to be able to attend. First off, look. I want to I wanna find out who designed the art. It's really it looks it's, familiar. It's well, it's funny you should ask. I just learned this. So this was a parting gift. Curtis and I got to go. We went to the White House. Did you look at the dress, huh? Beautiful. I know. It's, it's wonderful. Well, it was beautiful. I'll say it that. Was, All thanks to my sister Tiffany and her store name droppers. I got a hundred thousand compliments on it. Beautiful. She styles me. And if I would have known I was going and I had that dress, I probably wouldn't have eaten for three weeks and I would have looked even better. Because then in every angle, I would have really been able to. really good. Well, thank you. So it's funny you should ask about the illustrations. Melania, she is so hands-on. Um, oh, the Angora's getting me. I'm sorry. If you can see it. Uh -uh. Anyways, um, Melania is so hands-on that one of her staffers actually illustrated this. That's and lovely. she she um, she just trusts people and, and gives people, great Americans, opportunities like this. So the party was amazing. And um, look at, there's the invitation. Look at, look at isn't it beautiful? Isn't that pretty? Dane. So see, people are popping up their comments. Dane, thank you. I'm so glad you love the new website. Paul and his team designed it for me and we're still finishing it, but thank you so much. So I love it. Hey, Tana.com. This is the invite. We probably don't want to give her um, tangible items because she'll get distracted. Um, but, oh, look at Ella's watching. Ella. Say hi. To hi, honey. All the kids love you. All oh. the grandkids are watching they're isn't beautiful. that wonderful they're beautiful and they're brilliant and they, they're nice they More are importantly, they're really nice people well the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree your daughter's a wonderful girl <laughs> i know i'm a little lippy I know. i'm kidding you're just grandma hey kevin glad you're watching okay so getting back to what you guys can do for us one like the page two share the page and three make sure you go follow uh follow me on youtube so we're growing that so that I can get paid and Paul can get paid and we can get sponsors oh, I can get paid and too. she can get paid. If she's a hit, maybe she'll be a regular, but well. so far we had one strike against her and that was being late. You were late. I was early for the show. I was just, <laughs> you suck. Gosh. Marty, you were late. I was late because I can't see. <laughs> okay. We planned this. The show starts at 7. I, you were supposed to be here at I 6. I started at 5 o'clock. Oh, my gosh. I did. She's like, I got cataracts. I got glaucoma. 
Is that what they're called? Is that Glaucoma what it's called? and cataracts. Right. Okay. Well, we should have done the show in the day. But it doesn't matter. Let, we're here. You've done it. Check this out, you guys. So I go to my mailbox, and this is inside the mailbox, okay? Take a look at that. You're going to die. I, I don't want to die. You're going to die. I don't want to. And so uh, Curtis is like, oh, babe, you're not going to be happy. Are you ready for this? The return address is the White House. Do not bend first class. And my mailman does this. Uh oh. Okay. You don't think I wanted to go to social media and light his ass up? What? What's that? Well, this is the the cardboard to hide the, the to protect the photo that was sent from the White House what that they the it's it's getting matted. But my point is, who does this when it says it's from the White House? Do not bend. This is how they put it in my mailbox. See the, you know, the photo. If you're not going to show the photo and you're just showing it. I'm showing this. This you. is the frustrating part. Who does that? Well, obviously my mailman. So that was very disappointing. That's I'm just, okay. this is a stack of stuff. mailman. He's probably never going to deliver your mail again. Oh, well, I'm sure he will because obviously that. What is it says do not bend? Right there. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was really fun. So anyways, oh, Cindy, you're on. Good to see you. I was just telling her all about you. So, hi, Cindy. Uh, yes, I told her. Didn't I tell you she watches every week? Uh -huh. Look forward to this. Yes. Sorry I had to cancel last week, but I had an event to attend. Well, we want to get to your questions, your tweets, your emails, your Facebook messages, because we got a lot of good ones. So let's just jump right in. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask the question, and you can answer it. And I'll throw in and we'll answer these questions for these people. This one comes from Rick in Ohio. Hey, Tana, I'm so broke this Christmas. Wait a minute, let me start that over. I'm so broke this Christmas and I'm invited to numerous parties and gift exchanges. Do you have any suggestions as to how I can pull it all off? Sure. Don't go to all those damn parties. You'll be bored anyway. Well, if he wants to go. Right. Okay. I mean, I love you to go, go to parties. You go to the Goodwill, you get something to wear. You, uh, you know, get something and have things in your house probably that you do not use. You re-gift. Re-gifting is huge. Re-gifting. Re I have a whole gift room to re-gift. You see what I've got. Yeah, you got a whole house full of re-gifting. Right. <laughs> we both do. We like to shop. Well, yeah, I, like well, to, you... I did like to shop. I don't anymore because I'm poor, so I don't, you know, shop anymore. So right. Okay. No, I agree. Like. Think of the gifts that you've given me and Cass. You give us jewelry. I do. And and you know what? I agree with Marty. Uh, we want to re-gift. So if you're broke, go look around your house and see if you have something that maybe was of value that you aren't using, isn't tarnished, you know, doesn't look like you're re-gifting, and, and give that away. If you can't, how about making something? Uh, how about if you're cute? If you're cute, put a sign around your neck saying, kiss me quick, I'm double parked, and you, you, you can be the gift. That's only if you're cute. If you're not cute, forget it. I'm well, he's going to a gift exchange, so he's got to bring something other than himself. Like if it's your turn to put the present in the center and you don't have a present, then you can't go. What about books? Take a look around. I mean, I'm a book lover. I have a million books. I, I, a book. I, I love books. You can call me. I'll give you a book. So he's in Ohio, but um, yeah, Rick, I suggest, and so does Marty, re-gifting is a great, great way of making it through the holidays. Or um, I'm not a big fan of the, the goodwill because, I mean, I'm not a opposed to it but you, you it looks like usually that stuff unless you get it brand new you, it doesn't look um it doesn't look like it's brand new you can get things at goodwill that look brand new i'm not kidding you okay i believe it you can buy something for a dollar two dollars three dollars that sometimes is brand new okay well, all right, there it is. So, Rick, we hope we answered that. Um, you know, if you're a handyman, you know, gifts like a gift certificate to clean out somebody's closet. Okay, you don't like that, and you think he's going to wear a neck thing around his neck saying, no, I don't think he's going to do that. I don't think he's going to do either of those. But I'm saying if you're a handyman, maybe you can help him out. Wash a car? I don't know. You okay. can make something out of wood or... All right. I've got something made out of wood over there. Do you see that? That's in the shape of Iowa. Ah. And it's a cutting board. I got ah. that last year. Ornaments. Okay. Kathy, thank you. Popsicle Ornaments. sticks you can use to make 
something. Yeah, he's probably not much of a crafter, but um, that's a generalization. I don't want to offend you. Maybe he bedazzles. If you're a bedazzler, give me a call. I'll give I you a bedazzler. One of those things that don't, never work. Don't make fun of the bedazzler. It never worked. <laughs> oh, I can teach you how to do it. Everyone I loves give it cake. To Kev. Gift, gift for everyone. Cake. Do you see what Kevin's saying? Cake oh, is can't good, see. Kevin. Well, here's the thing. If you're like me, I don't want somebody baking for me because. Oh, I do. Well, hang on. I don't trust that their kitchen is clean. Oh, yeah, well, I don't trust that they don't have pets, unlike other people that we know who have a lot of pets. That would be me. I have yeah. six rescue pets. Yeah. I don't want somebody cooking for me if they got a bunch of pets, and I don't know if they've washed their hands, so I'm not a big fan of that. Well, that's true. I don't, I'm don't. i like that, too. Yeah. I mean, so that's just me, but great but suggestion. He's, a guy. he's probably not going to be concerned about that. He's guy. a guy, and he's probably clean, because I think men sometimes are cleaner than women. <laughs> in my opinion, but don't want to generalize because that'll get us in trouble in today's day and age. Okay, getting to the next question. This comes from Claire in California. Hey, Tana, I just started dating a guy and asked him to share his location with me. And you would have thought I asked him to move in with me. How do I convince him that this is a good thing? Okay, let me tell you what this is. You probably don't know. There's a thing called the, the iPhone, I know you know that, where you share your location. So that means if I share my location with you, all you got to do is go to Tana, and it'll tell you where I'm at, at uh -oh. every moment of my life. Right. Now, she wants me to give her a suggestion of why this is a good thing. I'm just going to say, Claire, I don't think it's a good thing. Mm -mm. I think it's a mistake. I, don't, I have a husband, and he doesn't have my location. Now, I have two kids, and both of them do. But I do that for security reasons. I agree. I mean, I should do it for Curtis, too, but he's not going to check. I think it's a control thing. I think it's almost slightly um, spying. I don't... You would have liked it. I think you would have liked it, having knowing where your kids are at all times. Well, yeah, my kids, but I wouldn't want to have other people know where I'm at. What about a husband? What uh, about a man? A uh, guy you're uh, dating? No, a husband, yes. Guy you're dating. He can find you. No. If you don't answer his call, guess what? He goes, where is she? No. Yeah. No, now, no. he, she wants to know how do we convince her to, him it's a good thing. I don't think it is a good it thing. It isn't a good thing. I would say, Claire, go get yourself some girlfriends so that you don't need to have a um, checkup on your man. I, I just think it's a bad idea. She seems kind of needy if she thinks that, you know. Oh, yeah. Controlling. That's what this is, controlling. Um, so I don't like it, nor does Marty. No. So we got two. To none. Don't. Yeah. Sack it. <laughs> okay. Hey, Tana. My wife always insists we do Christmas Eve at her parents' house, six hours away. Oh, that's terrible. We've done We're that happy for the. have parents. My, everybody's dead. I'd yeah. be happy. You know, mm -hmm. once you lose things and lose your people, then you think, gosh, I was too harsh about wanting to see everybody well here let's hear it and then you tell me my wife insists we do christmas eve at her parents house six hours away we've done that for the past five years when do you think she'll cut the umbilical cord dave in iowa oh dave get over it she loves her parents and her parents aren't always going to be alive okay what well, about his parents yeah what about them why aren't they mentioned well my point is maybe he wants to spend time with he doesn't say her, it. his parents. He doesn't say anything about his parents. Well, she insists we do Christmas Eve at her parents' house. It makes it seem like his parents are alive. I don't know. I tell you what, Curtis's mom and dad live five hours away. And it seemed like uh, his mother thought that every holiday was going to be there. And, I mean, and, and, and you're right. They're both gone now. Yeah. Uh, I did enjoy the years that we did it. But what I wanted was to make memories in my own house with my own kids, with my own husband. And I did want to cut the umbilical cord. And now my parents live in California. Hopefully they're watching tonight. But hello, Mom and Dad. You better pipe in if you're watching. Um, but so I think you got to make your own memories. Yeah, but like I say... Life is so short. Your parents, luckily, are still alive, and they're really cutie pies. And healthy. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, but his parents are now deceased. Um, right. So that's a very sad state of affairs. It so is. I'm glad that you spent time with Homer. Elmer. Homer. <laughs> Elmer and Pauline. You Elmer. would have loved her. I probably would have. Oh, you would have Elmer loved her. Elmer was a, a pip. What's a pip? Pain in the ass? Anything you want it to be. Pip. The, the Pain was. in the patootie. Okay. There, I had a feeling I was close, but that would be a Pia. 
<laughs> okay. Um, you get it? Pia? Pain in? Yeah, okay. pain in patootie. Yeah, pain in the patootie. Okay, so Dave, uh, I don't know if she'll ever cut the umbilical cord because this is the way I would do it. Who has the better food? Who has who, the better parents? Who has the better parents? Who has, puts out a better spread? I would go where the food is, wouldn't you? I'd go where the love is. Oh, I'd go where the food is. Well, I want the love, but I'd go I where the go food where is. I'd go where the love is. Who, who are the most loving people? That's where I'd want to go. Okay, well... There it is. So, Dave, we hope we helped you. All right. This comes from Tammy in Florida. Um, Tana, hey, Tana, my husband of two years is perfect in every way. God love her. Oh, Lucky. Hang on. That's good. Except for he can't learn to put the toilet seat down for me. I'm tired of bitching about it. How do you teach an old dog new tricks? She's ridiculous. If that's her only problem is having putting the, the toilet seat down, she doesn't get around very much. She doesn't have much of a life. Get a life. Okay. What was her name? Uh, Tammy in Florida. Oh, my gosh. I was like saying, he didn't put the lid back on the toothpaste. toothpaste. Come on. Well, I will say this. I do agree with Marty on this one. I went, okay, let me back up. Uh, I grew up that my brother was taught to put the toilet seat down. There was four girls in the house, five with my mother and my brother and my father. So a lot of estrogen. My mother taught him put the toilet seat down for women. Now, my husband, the man of my dreams, he was not taught that because he had one brother, careful, might be watching. <laughs> Whack-a-doodle. Wait on, hey now. <laughs> oh, my God. Hang on, Marty. Oh, my God. Well, Ooh. anyways, um, we he wasn't taught to put the toilet seat down because it was just him and his brother, mother, of course, and a father, Elmer, as you heard about, Homer. Elmer. Oh. Homer. And Homer. so when I married Curtis, you know, he didn't really have that same skill set. And did I care? Yeah, I would have liked him to put the toilet seat down. But was I going to complain about it? Hell no. I got me a man. I yeah. got me a uh, father for my kids. I got a guy who was treating me and like a, a queen. Guy. A good guy. And am I going to complain that he can't put the toilet seat down? I mean, no. no. So you got to have your priorities straight, yeah. Tammy. Boy. Um, Get a life, Tammy. Travis put something up. Uh, Paul, I, and I want to say uh, hey to Paul and John. They're helping us out in the back end. I saw that Travis had a comment when we got to Dave in Iowa's, which was, what do you do? If I read it correctly, Paul, did he say he goes to his parents and his wife goes to hers? Yes. Yes. So, so wow. Sometimes. Now that, to me, I wouldn't want to be separated. I would want to be with my husband. What would you want? Would you want to be away from your husband? Sure, I you, don't care. Oh, but I liked his parents. They're dead. I like. I loved my parents. They're dead. You know, we took turns. Go would on. you separate yourself and the kids? Not from the kids, but you know, I'd take my kids and go see my mom and dad if he didn't want to go do that. I would. I'd be. I'd be copacetic with that if he wanted to go see his, you know, mother and father. Yeah, the I guess. Nazis. Okay, there we go. So now We're Travis nothing. doesn't have children, so um, it's he goes to his mom and dad's, she goes to hers, that's okay. and that's probably a good thing. So when you're not splitting the kids down the middle, because grandparents just want to see the kids. I mean, how bad would your feelings be hurt if, you know, Cass took the kids to Tony's mom and dad and it's like, screw you. Well, luckily, they're dead. Well, let's be careful, though. We've got an audience, so... <laughs> Uh, Mary says, stop bitching about the toilet seat and just put it down yourself. Yeah. I agree. Oh, that's so it's petty. You know what it is? It's petty. It is petty. And it was, we were raised to be queens and we were raised to be, you know, treated a certain way, women in general. And the feminist movement said, a woman's too good to put the toilet seat down. Well, guess what? I wanted a man. I didn't care if he, if his flaw was keeping the toilet seat up. So did you ever care? No. Okay. I mean, this woman has no life. Well, she's she might have been raised with a, a mother that was a prima donna. Why does she have some things that she's going to have to cope with when she when you know when she gets older? It, there are going to be things she has to cope with if she can't cope with the oh, yeah. toilet seat. Oh, honey, it, it only gets worse, right? Doesn't it get worse the older they get? It gets worse when you get older too. I mean. Uh, there are a bunch of us now that are baby boomers who are having a hell of a time trying to figure out how what to... happened here. What, right. what happened? I was young. Right. And I went right to elderly. 
and people are duplicitous toward you and mean and not everybody, but there are a lot. Not of everybody's people. patient like me, right? Yeah. Getting you down the stairs. I didn't know she didn't have cartilage in her knees, but we well, got her here. Too. Oh, okay. I knew you couldn't walk, but I didn't know why. I've told you like a million times. Well, I threw her over my back and we got her down here. So the show will go on. All right. Now there's Marilyn says, I would go where they love me the most. That's what I said. Okay. Absolutely. Do you agree? The food has something to do with it? No. Oh, come on. It's I can't God, tell you what. When love, I, love is all there is. Didn't you know that? That's There's a great a, song. Love is all there is. Well, I do agree, Marilyn, that um, love is important. And, and I'll tell you what, G Curtis's mother and father, they had so much love. You're looking at the stuff over here for regifting. You'll get it next birthday. No, oh, I'm looking at all those candles look nice. Aren't those great? I'd like to have one of those candles oh. for the next uh, holiday. Birthday. Okay, here we go. Uh, hey, Tana. A guy I've been dating for a year never holds back when correcting my children's behavior. I'm not looking for parenting advice. How do I get him to back down? This is Lisa in Pennsylvania. Lisa, you're, if your kids are if your kids are okay, he's, he's not, not correcting gonna, them. He's not going to complain. If you have little monsters, a lot of people don't want to be around other people's little monsters. Isn't you that think, the truth? You think they're cute. Nobody else does. I used to own a store. And people would bring in kids. Oh, gosh. And they would be screaming and yelling. And the, did the mother do anything? No, no. she thought but it was cute. I would do. I kinda <clears throat> go like this. The kid would look at me and I'd go. <laughs> and then I'd be. And then I'd go. Go. And then the kid would be like, yike. You know what? <clears throat> Usually the kid was going to be okay if they thought I was going to kill him. Oh, yeah. No, I agree. Um, you're not looking for parenting advice. Maybe you need a, a little yeah. bit. I'm just saying. Maybe you do. I, I'm not saying that I did everything perfect. I mean, I did 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 a lot well. I did do a good I, job yes, parenting. I'm did. not gonna lie. So did my daughter. She did. I never had to have. Uh, well, so I only dated one guy since my divorce. That was Curtis. He did correct me on one thing. I'm not gonna lie. He said I kept my kids up too late. Oh. He was like, kids need a bedtime, and you best be like looking at look at the clock and it's bedtime. Mm -hmm. And he actually had to straighten me out a little bit with the bedtime and I didn't really appreciate it, but he was right. And I was letting the kids run around and stay up late and it was my own fault. And he corrected that. Um, but he didn't correct behavior. So behavior sounds okay. to me like you've got some hellions running around yes. and some, there's yes. some free for all and there's some mommy guilt and whatnot. So you're looking at all my stuff. She's, she's distracted by the toys yeah, and that, the purses. I want that little and, clippy thing. And she wants my clips. So she's stay focused on the audience. Do you guys got questions? Hit her up with them. Cause she's getting awfully distracted. Shiny purses. <laughs> <laughs> When you get old, you're like a kid again. So you're like, oh, look at, look at shiny. It's shiny, shiny objects. objects. Shiny objects she likes. Yeah. Okay, now we've got Anna in Texas. Hey, Tana, I've been invited to a Christmas party of one of my best friends. And she asked me to bring a bottle of wine and an appetizer. My husband thinks that's so rude of her. What's his deal? Actually, what's his deal? We don't care. Well, I will say this. Here's how I do it at my friends, with my friends. If you invite me to your house, I don't want to bring squat. You hear me? I'm going to repeat that. I don't want to bring anything. Yes, I know I'm supposed to bring a gift, a parting gift, a housewarming a gift. gift. I'll bring a candle, hence what those are there for. Wrap them up. I'll bring a bottle of wine or champagne because usually yeah. people run out and I don't yeah. want to run out and get That's thirsty. A good thing. So I do that. But if I had to say to Curtis, hey, we listen, we got to stop at this grocery store. We got to get wine. We got to get an appetizer. Then I got to get her a gift. He's going to look at me like it's just easier to stay home. You don't have to get a gift. Maybe they don't have extra money. They don't have discretionary income. And the only reason, only way they can have a party is if everybody brings something. I get that. Okay. Well, no, I don't think so. Well, no, I do. But, sh okay, bring something. Don't bring wine and an appetizer. If they live in a big house and they have a lot of money, screw it. Don't bring anything. Well, they said to bring it. If she said to bring it. I'll tell you what. So here's how I do it. When I host people in my home for certain holidays, which I do Thanksgiving, but this year I bailed and went to Palm Springs, and that was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> I tell my guests, don't bring squat. Right, because guess that. what? When it's Christmas time and I'm coming to your house, I'm not bringing squat. I agree with that. I so it's, with that. it's let me have you. I'm going to treat you. You're going to eat and drink like a king and a queen. When I come to your house, I don't want to bring squat. I, and I that's our arrangement. That. I agree with that. My mom and dad used to host a party every other week. 
and uh, never asked anybody to bring anything because they like to entertain. Yeah, I like to entertain. And and her husband's more or less saying, don't have a party if you can't afford it. Well, do you agree? I, I agree on some points. Do you some... want to have a sip? Are you getting thirsty? No. I'm going to. <laughs> I I got these special for us. Do you like them? I love them. Do I get to keep mine? Well, I only have two. I <laughs> well, I was thinking. Do I get they, to keep both of them? I was thinking for the holidays. My daughter really likes these. Um, Can I have a candle or the clippy? Yes, help me! Yeah, help me, Cass. Randall says, squirrel, squirrel. Look, Polly. Purses, squirrel, candles, gifts, books. Oh, my gosh. What's what squirrel mean? Like you're distracted easily? Hey, you. You don't know me. Randall, right on the money. Randall, he does know you. I'm not a squirrel. You are. Oh, maybe this. What, what are you doing here? Uh, it ain't. It can't <laughs> <laughs> you might unzip something. You got might get more than you bargained for. Okay, here we go. Um, this is from Tom. Uh oh, I know a Randall. Oh, Cass has a question. You don't know Randall. I might know this Randall. Oh, I dated a Randall. Well, hang on, Cass. Time out. Okay, tell me about the Randall you dated. I know Randall. An, oh, you know this Randall? Yeah, I know him very well. Tell me. Oh my this gosh. This Randall wrote books. What, what does this Randall do? Randall, did she date you? He is a dog breeder. I like dogs, but I don't like you. Wait, he's a nice guy. He called me a squirrel. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's not that you look like a squirrel. It's that you're distracted easily like shiny objects. I'm old. What do you want? How well, are you, Randall? He's not nearly as old as you. Well, then that's why. He doesn't understand old. Well, old is you get distracted is what she's saying, uh, yeah, Randall. My uh, attention span is not what it used to be. So tell me, what oh, was the guy you? What was the guy that you uh, dated? Well, you know, he was a nice guy. He was an author. Oh, oh, a creative artist like you? Uh, not quite as well. I can't. You know, I'm not going to say anything. I have enough enemies. Is he alive? I've, yes. Well, he's alive. Every, he was in you his, said everybody was in his dead. 50s. Oh, he's very young. Wow, you were robbing the cradle with that guy. Shut up. <laughs> well, I'm just saying 50s. That's some people that you know's age. You just shut up. Ooh, Cass has a question. Give it to us, hi, Cass. Hi, honey. Okay, Paul, you tell She's us. She's probably embarrassed oh. to death. Of oh, me. I'm sure she is. Yeah. My daughter's beautiful and brilliant. And, and you know, I've been embarrassing her since she was five. So. Okay, Cass, type your question, sweetie. Maybe we she maybe I didn't tell her. Type your question, and we'll give it to you. In the meantime, or Paul, when you get it, let me know. Um, oh, yikes. This is a tough, tough one. Tom in Iowa. You've got to be figures. careful. Yeah, this one's bad. Just figures. What's wrong with Iowa? <laughs> Gee, should I make some more enemies? Okay. Yeah. No, I, 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 you know, I was fine. I came here to go to Drake University. I graduated. I never left. I was just too lazy. I never left. <laughs> it's a great place to raise I a family. Had, I had kids, and and then they had kids, and I never left because they didn't want to leave my kids. I didn't want to, you know, I'm from Illinois. I know that. It, oh, it's not I've that heard of those women. Somebody told me about the uh, Chicago women. I'm not from Chicago. I'm from Pekin, Illinois. And I went to an all-girls Catholic so high did school. I. Did and you? look what happened to us. <laughs> look what happened to did us. Did you go to Dowling? No, I went. I was in Pennsylvania. Me and I Lisa. Be, I can't, were you Catholic? I was till we converted to Mormonism, and then I became a Lutheran. It's just a big, long story. Lutheran is very, Missouri Synod is very much like Catholicism. Mm. Missouri Synod. Are you a Missouri Synod? No, I'm not a Missouri Synod. But Lutheran is. I mean, they they make the sign of the cross. They, you know, they do all kinds of things. They just don't, what? Question. Let's see if she can read that. Can you read it? No, are you kidding? I can't even see any print. Okay. What are some of your pet peeves? Things that get you going. Okay. I'm going to say it, but she's going to rip me a new one. I can't stand when people are late. I cannot not. You're not usually. You're not usually. You're not. I know I'm So not. that's why you get a buy. This is my question. This is my question to answer. Okay. Oh, is it? Okay. Cass, who are you asking? Your mom thinks it's it's for her. Is it for both of us or just your mom? And then I'll just shut up. <laughs> what gets you going? Well, you know, on different days, it's different things. Today, it's people being rude on the, on the right. highway, the roads, and, you know, flipping me off, although I can't see it when they do anyway, but... Um, you know honking, that they are. I know that they are. Honking, my, honking their horn at me. But it's something today that, that really did I question about. 
I think I'm an inventor and I need to invent this. Yes, you, you want to go potty and you're happy that they have those uh, toilet seat covers so you don't have to put your rump down next to where somebody else's rump was. Is this in a public place, I'm guessing? Well, it's in a store. Okay, yep. Okay, and uh, yeah, public place. And so I'm always happy that they have those toilet seats. Yeah. And I can set my butt down on something. That, but here's the thing. You go to get up, the paper comes with you. Oh, Every yeah. single time. Can't somebody invent a toilet seat cover or you don't pick the paper up? You know what it should have is powder. We're giving great ideas away. It should have powder. So when you sit on it, it powders your bottom and then you get up and it just stays down. It, it, every time, it, I forget that I don't like them because I get up with the toilet seat cover. We hate also, you know what we hate? Bad service. Oh, yeah. I hate going to a restaurant and having horrible service. That's we, another pet peeve. We get that all the we've time. We've had really nice people wait on us. And, and we've had some really horrible ones. Have, gosh, I'm oh, fast. better take a sip. <laughs> I think that's what gave me the hiccups. People yeah. that drive in the passing lane. Oh, does that bug you? <laughs> what? I'm <laughs> <laughs> That's what Travis is saying. I'm one of those people. Yeah, slow Travis, people in the left lane. Travis, like, oh, up. no. Now she's insulting Randall and Travis. Hey, both of you, shut up. Cindy says slow people in the left lane like they own it. They hate you because you I drive that way. I don't way. care. When they get old, they'll realize why you're, if you're going to turn left soon, then you want to get in that left lane. They <laughs> pre plan. Mini hand wipes. Mini hand. Is that an invention, Dane? Mini hand wipes. I don't know. That got to do with your butt? Well, I do I do use mini hand wipes, and I wipe the seat off. I do. Oh, I don't but do that. Do then I your wipe? seat's wet. No, it isn't. You take a little piece of toilet paper. Oh, that's and just, I have an idea. Is. Do what my friend Bren does. Squat. No, I don't want to squat. Squat. No. It's great for your legs, and you don't get diseases. Uh, we should no. move on. So, Oh, we didn't even get to Tom. You're going to die. Who's Tom? Tom's the guy from die. Iowa. You yeah. said, oh, you got off on Iowa. You went bad on Iowa. Mm. Hey, Tana, I'm embarrassed to ask this, but desperately need your help. My wife gets too drunk at holiday parties and embarrasses the both of us. How do I combat this? Divorce her. People should not. I. Why would she get drunk if she's not an alcoholic? I've never I've never done that ever in my whole entire life. The, get woman's drunk, an, the woman is an elky dumper. You know, if you're young, you can get another wife. Get rid of her. Well, he married didn't see to an alcoholic. And as he got older, he got worse. And then he dropped dead in our garden. Oh, God. <laughs> listen, That's listen. another show. No, no, listen. Oh, he, hated, he hated mint. He hated mint. He would pull it out, and it would come back twice as exponentially more. So when he died, and who knew he was out in the garden at midnight, but he dropped dead on top of the mint. God has a sense of humor. Oh, doesn't he? He dropped, dropped yeah. it, uh, and it fertilized because we didn't find it until the next day, and it was June. Oh, he didn't fertilize that fast. Oh, he fertilized. The mint is just growing everywhere in this garden. Everywhere. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's God does have a sense of humor. He we'll does. go with that. Okay, otherwise. Tom, so Marty thinks you should divorce, divorce her. her. I, I Get rid of her. Okay. I don't like drunk people. I really Well, nor do don't. I, nor do I. Um, I just think it's disgusting. Uh, here's be my, I agree. Here would be my advice. I wouldn't go. I just wouldn't go. Why? I wouldn't go to the party because I had somebody ask me something very similar to this. And I more or less said, you will have an eternity being married to an alcoholic of hell. You will have an eternity of hell. Your life will be hell. You will be embarrassed a lot. She will embarrass Why do you. you. Want to stay with well, you don't. You don't. I mean, they I don't change. They people. Just don't oh, change. I know. I, read my book. It's coming out soon. If I could <laughs> stop having so much fun and working and sit to, in front of the computer and finish it, I wouldn't go um, because a person that's getting drunk can't control themselves okay. and. <laughs> That's tough. That's bad genetics. Just dump her. Well, it's else. hard. It's hard to dump. I don't think so. I do. I don't. I I. I don't. I was a dumper all my life. You, Maybe that's why you I didn't was. dump. You stayed. Yeah, with my husband, but right. I but both okay, of them. it's wife. He's married to her. How are you going to just dump her? Do they have kids? I don't know. He if didn't they have say. Kids stay. Well, it's okay. Then what? Her. Then what? Then you and your kids see the drunkenness. Uh, it's a terrible thing. Alcoholism sucks. Ugh. 
it's a horrible disease. It affects everybody. Um, I'm, I'm just going to have to say that I wouldn't take her around situations where you would um, be, be embarrassed. That's not solving the problem. It is not solving the problem. I'm not a therapist. I can only give my advice. And I was married to someone who drank. And when he drank, he drank heavily. And I... I actually didn't drink alcohol for my, I could almost say my entire marriage, which was eight years. I never drank it either. Because, I, I mean, give or take, I, I don't want to be a liar here, but I never drank much. I, I didn't drink alcohol. Me neither. Because he couldn't control himself. Right. So why put yourself in a situation where I you know she's going to fail? I didn't either. And so that was the, that was what I did in hoping to combat the situation. Friends of mine that go to parties with alcoholic spouses and drink and expect them to drive them home, that's right. just putting gasoline on uh, a fire, in my opinion. So, uh, Tom, I wish I could give you better advice. Tom, go without your wife. Leave her home. Well, but that doesn't go well either. Well, too bad. Neither does drinking and getting drunk. It's tough. I don't know. I don't know what to say except for it doesn't end well usually. No, but I, I wish I'd done more things now that he let loose his mortal coil. I wish I'd done more you things. You say that. That's so. I really like that. You say that a lot. Well, it's easy to, you know, say, you know, it's better than, better to than say saying when he, he dies. Dead, yeah. Which he did do. Which you did say that earlier, too. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> It's okay. Um, let me get to two more, and then we want to have you guys hit us with your questions. Did, Ka did Cass ask your question? Yeah, it was, what are our pet peeves? And you didn't. Oh, yeah. I, I, I hate did. being late. I hate people that are late. Cass is usually always late, well, isn't she? Yes, but she has five kids. Right, and my mom, my mom used that as, my mom says that a lot, too. Cass doesn't use that as her excuse. She doesn't. She has so but much you on do. her plate. But you do. No, I, it's true. My mom does that all the time. I had five kids. I had five kids. Well, and Kath does. doesn't usually say that. She does have five kids. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, and she has three jobs, and she's a registered nurse. She teaches Zumba. She's, she's amazing. She is. She's amazing. She's she, my best friend. She is amazing. And she's, she's your amazing. daughter. Yeah. Oh, look at what Ella says. I have a question. Why Hi, are you guys so pie. cute and amazing? I'll let you answer that. What did she say? Why are we so cute and amazing? Because you have bad eyesight, honey. We're not that cute and amazing. Speak for yourself. Ella. Ella Isn't she is great? Now, let's of, talk about Ella, how great she is. one of the five kids of my daughter. Number she four. Is brilliant and beautiful and tall. We have oh, no yeah. tall people on that side of the family. We're all midgets. But she's she is tall. so beautiful. And she is breathtakingly beautiful. And they she all and are. her breathtakingly beautiful uh, sister Rachel are going to have a whatever that is that we're doing. Uh, YouTube show, YouTube yeah. show. Yeah, they're going to be amazing. They are. They're, we're like the upper, we're, we're like we're the, the, uh, couple, we're the smart Kardashian. Yeah, keep Kardashian. up, try to keep up with us. We're the well, smart Ella, Kardashian. you're so sweet to ask that. We just, we were born this way, honey. I like, love you, Ella. Like Lady Gaga says, we were born this way. Yeah, Lee, I love Lady Gaga. I hate her new song. Okay, yeah, let's get like to two more Gaga. questions. Hey, Tana, every Christmas I go into debt to prove to my kids I love them. Isn't there an easier way to do this? Gary, West Virginia. Yes, stop feeling guilty about whatever it is you're feeling guilty about that you think you need to make up at Christmas time. Be a good parent all year round. I was just going to say, spend time with your kids. Be a good parent all year round, and you won't have to feel guilty when it comes to be Christmas because your kids love you. Right. I mean... You don't have to... It's, it's not up. about the gifts that are underneath the tree, well, even though kids kids think it is. You know, well, try man to... up and start being a good parent. If you're a good parent, you're not worried about giving your children gifts. Spend an inordinate amount of time with these precious children of yours because they won't be kids for very long. No, it's true. Um, I would say, you know, if you treat them well all year long, Love. then love and love them all year long then you don't have any guilt to no. buy them gr great gifts love I, is what it is love is all you need let's say it again yes. love is all you all need, you, need. <laughs> you have a pretty voice but anyways <laughs> um like i tell my kids all the time you know christmas is every day because they know i'm there yes. for them i'll do yes. anything anything under the sun for either of my children any day of the week uh, at any point in time. So I don't feel like I have to have amazing things underneath the Christmas tree. Now, my husband, on the other hand, really wants to make Christmas special. Yeah. And and I just, I'm not that way. Well, my dad was like the Pope of the Catholic Church in Pekin, Illinois. 
And I was not allowed to have gifts at Christmas time ever. Even when I was a tiny kid, at Christmas we we got gifts and food for people in Pekin that were poor. Aww. But my mother would sneak. Once my dad started snoring, my dad, my mom would sneak me out into the living room and, and give you stuff and give me stuff, and then we'd have to put it back before my dad. I'm sure he knew. Oh, before my dad would uh, wake up, he was just such a precious man. And he really only cared about making other people happy, but he Aww. figured that my mom and I, you know, we should. That's understand. Paul. Okay, Travis is saying take them to the local mission to show them how, how others are far worse off. And I couldn't agree with you more. Yes. We've packaged up meals for the homeless uh, to send them over to Haiti and let my kids see, you know, one scoop of rice and one scoop of beans and this Terrible. and that. Like, I mean, we're so blessed. Yes, we are. So, Everybody in America. We are and have so shelter blessed. and food if they want it. Yeah, and 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 freedom. Yeah. We're free. Yeah. Dane wants to know: Did your kids ever catch you kissing Santa Claus? Oh, all the time. I mean, they never caught them. They never caught us doing what I caught my mom and dad doing. <laughs> no, I don't think my mom and dad ever did any of that stuff. They had to if they made you. No, they didn't. I'm adopted. That's right. Oh, I bet they did once or twice. I don't think they did. Oh, Marty. Well, I was Everybody were, does they were that. They almost 50 Every... when I came along, so I don't think they did by the time I came along. Oh, really? I was very sickly, so my mother moved into my bedroom, which was the big oh, bedroom. Oh, I mean, that's dad was in the other bedroom. He snored a lot, so. Oh, that kept, that was, uh, that was sex repellent right there. Oh, yeah. Um, let's get to the last one, and this one, oh, this one might hit home with you. Uh-oh. Hey, Tana, my only child jokes that she won't take care of me if I need full-time care in my elderly years. I pray she's just joking. Troy in Maryland. I can't imagine anybody okay. not knowing whether it's a joke or not. Well, hang on. I got to say, I got to stop you right there. I, I even said it today to my own dad. Don't kill me. Oh. Hang on. I told my dad that I wouldn't take care of him when he's old and I wouldn't change his bedpan and change his diaper if he should ever get to where he needs it. No, no, I am kidding. I don't want to do it. Time out. I'm totally kidding, but I just said it to my dad today. Now, I'm guessing he knows I'm kidding, right? My dad, no, my, my dad know knows. you're kidding. You don't think? My future <laughs> husband does not know you're kidding. No, wait. I know my dad thinks I'm kidding. No, he doesn't. He's... We get really sensitive when we're old. Even somebody who's not doesn't have any emotions, really. What you're saying is your dad doesn't. Have no, emotions? not much. He's about as emotional as a fish. My mother says, and that's Aww. true. That's true. That's true. But yeah. wait. So I'm kidding. I hope that. Wait. I pray she's joking. Do you think? Well, I I, I, I would never joke about that ever. I just joked about this. I would I took care of my dad when he was dying because my mother had died. And I hired people to help me, but I, I took, I was there around the clock. I left my business and my oh. husband, my kids. Well, I hope that I, I, everybody's wired differently. So Troy, my, um, my guess is your only child, which is a daughter, will take care of you when it's time. Are they it, an only, are you not an only child? No, we got my, so my dad, when I said this, I said, I'm not going to change your bedpan. I'm not going to change your diaper. I'm not going to take care of you when you're older and blah, 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 blah. And he's like, well, that's okay. I'll just call Jonalyn, who's my older sister, who is a caregiver. She cared for my grandma. She cared for my grandpa. That's the one with the store. And, no, that's Tiffany. So I got a lot of siblings. Jonalyn's my oldest sister. And so he said, well, I'll just call Jonalyn then. So I think he thinks I'm serious. Of course he thinks you're serious. <gasps> Dad! Uh, you don't have to do bedpans anymore. You give him adult diapers. diapers. Oh, I know. I did. We did that for Elmer. You, know. you remember? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there yeah. you go. Elmer. Well, no, remember? <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, yeah. thank you for mentioning that. Oh, I didn't. I don't think they heard. On the air. I don't think they heard. I don't think they heard. People. Randall, I spent Christmas Eve dressed as Santa Claus and drive around towns and just crash Christmas parties. Is this the guy you were dating? No. Randall, great idea. Now, that would be fun. Yeah. I would have a lot of fun doing that. When I was young and not poor, I used to have a person with me. And when we, around uh, holiday times, and when we saw somebody on the street corner that obviously was poor, I would have cards made out and with Aww. money in, Aww. and then she would get out and uh, hand them to them. And, and just said, it just said, 
Merry Love Christmas. Jesus. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. So you guys, um, I, I know someone would do that for me now. I know. <laughs> well, we'll have to do a whole nother show on Marty and how she got poor and all that. How she got rich and then got poor. And, and how she got rich and she got poor. And she's got a lot to, a lot to share and a lot to say. But I want to ask Paul, because I know we've hit a lot. Oh, we have one more. Paul, how are we doing out there with messages? Do we have anything that I've missed? Because I have one more that somebody tweet, uh, texted me that really wants us to get to. If we have time. Uh, no, we we've been posting all the questions going on there, so that's it's been uh, it's been a lot of comments though. Well, you've done great. I appreciate that. I love seeing them, so I don't think we miss much. Um, okay, so hey Tana, I'm sad to say I haven't been asked to any parties this year. Do you have any ideas why Courtney in Iowa? Yeah, you're either not good looking, not smart, or you or you're stinky. Well, hang That's on. one of those things. I mean, you got something wrong with you if you're not asked. Hang on. I haven't been asked to many parties. Oh, you're married, and people are frightened of you. They don't want to get turned down by you. Well. You're like the local movie star, so they don't want to put themselves out. So what? They invite me, and I can say yes or no, and if I said no, they would be offended? What do you think Curtis is going to say if you get invited to these places, huh? Like he can't go? Or what? Not if a guy asks. Oh, well, he'd go with me, right? Okay. The thing is, Hannah, honey, bunny, <laughs> people are je are jealous of you. How many times have I told you that? Many. They're jealous. And when, when people are jealous, and, and here's another reason people are icky. They're either jealous or they're frightened of you. I think people were both of me. <laughs> it's so scary, and I was cute back in the day. Beautiful. I was. Thin. You know, yes, I was. Fit. Yeah, I was fit. I was all those things, and a lot of people. That's what like, she says. I think she looks and a, great. A lot of, a lot of people, didn't like me also because, like my precious, precious, beautiful stepdaughter, who's brilliant and and just absolutely beautiful, she had a she has a mouth on her. Oh. She's a, she's a full professor, and she does not. She doesn't hold back. She does, you know. She does, you know. Throw a little liquor in them. She doesn't like. And then no, what happens? No, no, she just doesn't. Uh, uh, like stuff that isn't true, so she tells the truth. Well, and I agree. I get can't that. Tell the truth if you're beautiful and brilliant, you can't. People are going to dislike you. I'm going to take this from a different approach, Courtney. I think that it's sad. Everybody wants to be invited to Christmas parties. I know. I do. I want to go. I'm and very I social. I want to stay home. Okay, you you want to stay home. Okay. I want to go to Christmas parties. Yeah. Uh, disregard what my blog said a couple weeks ago. <laughs> What did it say? I don't want. I, I say, well, actually, my blog said I'm only going to Christmas parties that I want to go to. I'm not going to go to the ones where the ladies, you know, eat the eight dozen cookies and gossip about the other women. I don't want to go to those, even though I, I do love the cook. I love the cookies, yeah, the cookies but I'm not looking to get fat. Well, I don't care anymore. So, right. So um, it hurts when you don't get invited. So I don't think what Marty thinks that it's you. I happen to take it from a different place and that is that um people my mother used to say this that people don't invite you to certain things tana because you steal the attention you are the party and so maybe courtney that's true. um that, you that, could be the star and they that, don't want to share the stage that could be true too i mean there's a lot of variables i'm there. gonna go with that i think that she could be a star you're gonna steal the attention let me tell and you they what i want you there and they don't want you and there. they also doesn't don't want their husbands looking at you right i mean admiringly i you know i've been through that too oh yeah right you know that happens i mean come on now I melissa she says this show is epic you beautiful ladies made my night absolutely oh, hilarious you. thank oh, you melissa yeah. we hope you're doing well pray for you yes She's Thanks, honey. she's a wonderful gal. Thanks, honey. Thank you. Um, so listen, I want to say that what is it? Oh, today is my late grandma Flora. Oh, that's um, a neat name. Oh, is this a dicky you're wearing? Cass wants no, to know. No, it's just a oh, it's going it's just, out a thing. It's supposed to be on the side. I don't know where the hell it's, it's beautiful. To be. It's just a dicky. Ooh, look at the it, what's a dicky? I know what a dicky is, but that's a not dicky, a dicky. No, no, that's a, a dicky, scarf, Cass. A dicky is a. Uh, like a, a dicky do your belly hangs out further no, than <laughs> uh, you put it on and it's only to hear oh those are fake fake collars well, fake collars what are those things called the 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 see 
Yeah. If you all know, Paul old, probably knows what she's talking about. When you get old, you can't. Is it an Eng is it an English thing, an Irish thing? No, it's <laughs> just a dicky. God. My it's old neighbor used to say that his belly hangs out for. The day. Doesn't have anything to do with a belly. All right, a dicky. It has a collar on it and a little piece of material. Okay, Cass says, is it a fake turtleneck? Thank you. It's I said a, a fake collar. Yes, a turtleneck. That's what I'm trying there to. There it is. It's she a fake knew it. turtleneck. Is that what this is? No, this is a scarf. <laughs> Oh, hey, do you guys want to see something that Marty um, regifted me? Speaking of the first question we had, which was, I'm so broke, how do I go to Christmas parties and gift exchanges? Let me show you something that she gave me. When was that? Oh, this isn't probably good, but I'm just going to do it. I don't know when it was, but you gave me this. I, I wonder where that was. Oh, come on. I'll regift it back. Tell you me, how do you that? even wear it? You want to know something? <laughs> You shut up. I'm just asking. I'm wait, 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 wait. I went to a. What is this? How? Where does it go? Where does back, the, the, the bow in the back? No, this no goofball. This goes. In the... <laughs> wait, it'll smack me in the face. Well, I want to smack you in the face <laughs> right now. Listen here. Look at this. Is what I got. So Troy, if you're lucky, just go through your closet. Maybe you'll find something like this. Oh, look at that. Hey, think, this is like a wedding uh, veil. I think that uh, this is. Marty, I got a lot of hair. It's not going to go What under. about, okay, what is that called? Look at this. Polo. I went oh, to a, no, this is a Kentucky Derby hat. Look at this, I you guys. Cass, do you I, like this? This I is a gift. I went to a polo match, and I wore that. I went to, why do people want to go to polo matches? Look at that. In mud? This is what I got. So thank you for that, Marty. A polo match. Yeah, I'm going to wear, is the bogo in the front? Listen, let me talk to you here. You see here, that's yeah. the back. That is oh, so the bogo's in the back. Well, goes in well I, I've got that, you guys. So maybe, you know, just look around. You never know what you're going to get. Do you want to see this cute hat? No. This is, check that out. We're doing so much winning. Oh, you don't like it? Take a look. It's all right. I don't like baseball caps. Well, nor My do I, but. Where's one constantly? And he's so beautiful. And he hides his hair. Oh, he's got he's great so gorgeous. hair. He hides it under a baseball cap. And I told him he's going to. Look at, Marty, you should take that. Don't you? That looks good on her. I'm a hat person. I think it's great. I saved it, but um, well, do you want me to take it off? We don't want you to be distracted. I want to have that clippy thingy. I'll give you the clippy thing. All right. Squirrel! She sees another squirrel. Uh, Tana hates hats. Who is the one that called me a squirrel? Randall. Randall, you shut up. Randall, squirrel! She sees so many squirrels. I do like hats. I she was just. She looks very good in them too. I do. Yes, you do. You look good in everything. Wow! Oh, she's like thank my, you. She's like my second daughter. Thank she's you. a wonderful person. Wow! Thank you. She loves everybody, and if somebody doesn't love her, it's because they're jealous of her because she has so many talents. Oh well, thank you. She's beautiful. She's smart. I mean, people are jealous. You, you women out there. I got all the women that watch the show TNN. Cindy shares it. Melissa shares it. Christy shares it. All, all the people cast. Well, those are good women. They that, all, they're that not believe, jealous. That, that are secure and believe in themselves. But what about all the other women that don't, that aren't secure? Right. You know what's interesting is I was, as we started the show and I was telling Marty about the Christmas party, not one of my friends, with the exception of Cass. Not one of my, not my daughter. One of my friends. No. Asked me how the party was. No, because they're jealous. Get rid of your friends. Well, it's tough because you don't want to go through life alone. However, really, well, why would you be alone? You've got a million people out there that love you. They do, and my I daughter and I love you, well, and, and all kinds of people. How could you go alone? Trump loves you. Trump How loves you me. Be alone. I know. I appreciate that, but it's interesting because I read somewhere the other day on Instagram, I think it was, which was not all of your followers are your fans. That's true. And when I read that, I went. Wow. A so, person who doesn't like you is Amarosa Poopy Butt. She's the worst woman I've ever She does like me, believe it or not. Well, I don't like her. But I don't I don't that. like I don't like what she did and I don't like that she took advantage of a situation. She, I always knew she was horrible. Yeah. And the moment I saw her Yeah, you I, can tell. You can I tell Amarosa Poopy Butt was just jealous 
Yeah. And, a, and a wackadoodle. Yeah. There's a lot of people out there that are hurting. Uh, so now we're getting to the part where we're yeah. going to close up the show here. We're going to bring it back to keeping it real. Uh, we kept it really real with all the questions. I want to thank you guys for hitting, them up, hitting me up with the messages, the tweets, the emails, all of that. It was awesome. And yeah. I really like this. Nice people. Out you there. guys are great. And a lot of us, at the nice end of the people. day, most of this actually is all relationships everybody's struggling with figuring it all out. We're all in the same boat. But right now, let's take a minute to think about all the people that we touched on this, that don't have a home, that don't have food. Oh, we, yeah. You know, be responsive to people and their needs. And there are people on a street corner. You don't have to know what they do with the money. Right. Give them, you know, give them some money. Just be kind. Yes. Kindness. What would Jesus do? To the least of my brethren, that's what I do unto you. And remember that because it's true. I agree with you, God Marty. Is, God, God watches. I'm telling you, he watches. And he's kind of pissed. You know what? At how we are. I agree with her. And Marty shared a story with Cass and I the other day at Cass's birthday lunch. And that was a random stranger met Marty at work and knew got to talking because Marty is like an open book. And, and like me, we share and we talk and we love people. And so she shared her story with this random stranger. And this random stranger gave her a card with $100 in it. And how awesome is that? That just, right? Is that yeah, right? No. Oh, I uh, missed the story. It was a random stranger. My bad. Kim, I love you, was a very dear woman named Kim, who is a widow of my son's best friend. Okay, my bad. And and uh, she just is the most incredible woman. And she came by where I was working and stuck a $100 bill in my hand and a $25 gift card and to Walmart. And that's amazing. And she, you know, as a widow like me, her husband uh, was my, again, my Tom McCarl was my son's best friend who passed away. And what a sweet I mean, pie she is. She's how sweet. She's here wonderful suffering. Woman. And wonderful woman, Kim. I hope you're listening. You have no idea what that money meant to me. It meant I ate, right? I ate for a long time. And so thank you. And so, I agree with Marty. You know, if you can go out of your way in any way, shape, or form, whether it's a, a meal, whether it's time, and and I had mentioned to Marty that I, I do the show every Thursday night, and I, and I know that we've been talking about me getting some guests, and she wanted to come, and I said, I'd love to have you, but... No, I didn't. You and Cass talked about it, and I didn't know a thing about the fact that you did it. Right. I told you about it, and then you said, God, that'd be so great, yes, I and I said, wouldn't that be wonderful if you were my guest, and... I'm sorry if I said something off there. You didn't. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to mislead anyone no. how this went down. But at the end of the day, <laughs> I, I in the back of my head I realized that Marty's retired. Or no, she's not retired. That's a well. I, I'm old enough. I'm. Old, she should be retired. But I'm old as the hills. I she came didn't out of retirement. She didn't budget well. The whole other show, and she's back to work. But she's lonely. She lives alone. Yes, I am. And so I knew that this would be entertaining. Yeah. And I knew that this would occupy her night. Yeah. And I wanted to bring her over. And I'm going to make a beautiful, nice, big Italian salad. And we're going to go upstairs. I'm going to get her a nice drink. And we're going to eat, break bread. Diet I, of course I do. The and so um, anyway, so give, give to people that you love and... As Randall says, be a blessing to be yes. blessed. And we are. Amen. Amen. So it's the 13th. As I was saying, today is my favorite grandma's birthday. She's passed. She's up in heaven. And I know she's watching me every single day. And I love her. Uh, and I dedicate this show to her. It's your dad's mom. My your dad's mom. mom. And Grandma Kalazi, and uh, and I think uh, a lot of the reason that I'm the woman that I am is because of my grandma. So today is her birthday, and that's a very special day, and I thought about her all day. I actually should have her necklace on, but it's gold, and it wouldn't match the silver. And Tiffany, my stylist, said I should wear more plunging things. So if you guys like the plunging necklines, give me a little love. Please go share the video. Uh, make your comments. And go follow us, uh, go follow me on all the social media pages, but especially my YouTube channel. Okay, and we want to say, you want to have a cheers? Let's have a toast on our way out yeah. to your new friends, Marty. And to us and to all of you, we will be back on, maybe Marty will be here, who knows, if her, rece if her uh, reception is well, you all liked her, she might get invited back. Or hated me, I don't care, just if you respond, I might be able to come back, which would... 
at least be a nice which would tickle her fancy it would be nice cheers to you i love you i love you too merry christmas and happy shopping and don't go into debt for anybody because nobody wants you to be broke and at the end of the day it's not about that this no. is the season to be happy think of our savior our lord and be good yeah be good and be good to others so <laughs> until then thanks so much have a wonderful evening bye <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! That was fun. You did great. That was fun.